And now, the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Usually there's like a red button. I was looking for the red button. It's the bonfire. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. Where's my red button? I'm Dan Soder and I don't have my red button. I want my red button. Where's my red button? That's Big J Okerson. We're live, but not new. We're new, but not live. (laughs) That was so backwards. You're backwards. We're live, but not new is insane to say. (laughs) We're doing a repeat. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> We're doing episode four all over again. Guys. Hey, everyone. What's so, up, Dan? Oh, uh, 2015's been crazy. The show Billions sounds like it's going to be pretty cool. I haven't filmed yet. <laughs> um, I'm going to get some meatball G body. <laughs> See, this, this is what's weird about doing these shows when we do... Well, we haven't seen each other in a while, and then we do a live show. Because we, we have to hold off on all the stuff that's actually we're catching up on. It's like Christmas when you don't want to say your gift. You're like, oh, dude, I got... Wait till you see what I got. All we're seeing is the shapes of the gifts. Oh, like, oh I bet that's a Nintendo. Oh, I was always so disappointed. Sweaters, man. That's the weight. You know the weight of the sweat. Yeah, well... No, it- sweaters could be a lot of things. That, that sweater weight throws everything off. It's never going to be a toy. I don't know, man. In Some, a sweater box? Sometimes T-Rish would pull a nice left and a right. Yeah, it's Christmas in October, motherfucker. She put you a she put a, a toy in a sweater. In a sweater? In a sweater. Gambit, the X-Men toy. That's all I wanted. Oh, that's that's thinking. And I opened that's it up good. and it was a dark green sweater and I go, cool. It's like I And then you like, unfurled it and, and Gambit was, popped out, you're like, cool. And then, then it was real. Oh, Oh, you beautiful bitch! Yay! <laughs> oh, you sweet, sweet slut! You just got me Gambit. I'm just losing it as a small child. That's a you whore bag to the oh, 15th power. My God, I don't care what a word Gary said about you. You <laughs> are good in my book. All that random dude batch has really hit your brain in the right way. <laughs> I want to shake the man who fucked you correct. Because I wanted a Gambit and you've been sleeping on it. I want to shake the hand of the man who knows the man who plowed your ass right, moms. <laughs> Merry motherfucking Christmas. I'm going to go build a fort. <laughs> I'm going to go build a sheet fort. Yeah, all right, maybe use some couch cushions. I don't know. You guys going to be watching golf or something else? Boring. <laughs> I'm going to go pound one out into this green sweater and play with Gambit all day. Oh, he's rising to the top of the ranks. Did you get a Nintendo pretty pretty young when it came out? Uh, I told you the Nintendo story. My parents broke up and my dad was living in a shit apartment and bought the Nintendo just to fuck you to my mom. Yeah. Just That's a be- sweet gift, man. If you want to use your child as a... Uh, piece of leverage. Video game system. Video game systems. I wonder what it is. I mean... I think it's probably still video for for a boy. It's still a video game system. Bike, bike. I feel like always would work. Depends. Some kids don't give a shit about a bike. I don't, Isabella, weirdly, I don't think does still doesn't know how to ride a bike. Really? She never picked it up. Yeah, it's just kids don't ride bikes like that anymore. I feel like is, uh, but she lives. Oh, she lives on Long Island. She lives in a place where you could definitely ride a bike around. She just doesn't ride a bike. I saw a kid riding a bike and texting, and I was like, man, I would have never been able to do that. <laughs> Oh, I could have. I got pretty good on my bike. I could do the without holding the handles. I had about 18 months where that was great. And then, and then one, one wipe out. One wipe out, and you're like, all takes. I ain't going back. And I remember it on my mongoose. My handles just jutted real quick, and I was like, You had a goose? I had a goose. I saved up for the goose. Ooh. I didn't have a GT. I wasn't a rich asshole. Shit, it's rad. Yeah. I didn't have the... Except I couldn't spin my handlebars. I would always eat I it I thought up. mongoose was always... You could uh, full range of motion. That was the big thing about the goose. No. There were some gooses that didn't have that. Did you have pegs? No. I wasn't allowed them. You weren't allowed to have pegs? No. What a weird... Yeah, what a weird, what a weird roadblock to put up with your bike life. I know. I have no idea why. why? I don't know. Mom, can I get pegs? No, <laughs> not in this house. What? I don't know. Man, my mom always had some fucking strange ass rules. It's a weird thing. Like, that was it. Can I get a basket on the front? Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, bike rules. Not in this house. Mom, what, the, what happened to you with pegs when you were younger? <laughs> She's like, we're not going to bring it up. Pegs, pegs are for evil children. <laughs> it's a peg-free house. <laughs> yeah, I will not. I will not have any pegs in this house, front nor back. <laughs> this is a Christian household, and we will not have back back wheel pegs. Ah, uh, next thing you know, there's just going to be some guy sleeping on the couch, <laughs> eating all our food. You will not have someone pegging through your life, Daniel. <laughs> 
pegs. That's a weird. <laughs> I just remembered that I wasn't allowed to. Have them. Uh, I had a bike. Did you have the handbrakes? No, no, no. We were all got to push the pedal back brakes. No handbrakes allowed in my house. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say I was like, that's just super dangerous. That was all handbrakes. <laughs> no brakes at all. Oh, yeah, no brakes at all. You had to just tap your feet on the ground really fast to try to slow yourself down. Jason, you belong. <laughs> you belong to a family of daredevils. <laughs> <laughs> you will not have brakes. We are the flying malachis. <laughs> My father came over here from the island of Ponza. <laughs> <laughs> now take that bike and ride, and ride it across a tight wire between two buildings. Dude, I'll never forget this. Uh, when I was a kid, I was like eight years old, and I had an orange bike called Mud and Guts. What? what? My mom bought me the first bike I ever Was it a bike you buy in line while you're waiting for the grocery store? It's a Target bike. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's like a Target next to Reese's bike. Pieces. Yeah, 100%. We were like, hey, what's that one? Mud and guts? Yeah. Mom, can I get some Reese's Nets? Can I get this bike? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of this bike? Do you have bike money this month? Uh, the mud and guts. Yeah, I remember that. Cause the first bike I ever got was a white Huffy, and all my friends were like, that's a girl bike. I had a nice Kent. You had a Kent? I had a Kent. With, uh, remember they put the thing, I realize now what it was for, it was your uh, dick protector for the bar that goes across. Yeah. There was like a Velcro. Yeah. Like tube. Yeah, that was you know, for. That would go around it. So if you your, came off the bike. In case your dick came down that crossbar. Which is weird because uh, women's bikes has that dip, and that makes a lot more sense for guys. Not to have the crossbar. Yeah, I mean, you know? chicks you just probably have things sticking straight up. You should probably well. They don't yeah. want it. <laughs> yeah, the, I just imagined a senior editor at Huff or a senior guy at Huffy. This is the puzzle bar. This will <laughs> this will wreck them. Have you ever seen the videos of the girls riding dildo bikes? No, but that it would be something that I think you have seen. Of course. Why would I bring it up? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not assuming that exists. I'm telling you, I've seen the videos. <laughs> If you could bring that up, Christine, it's pretty interesting. It looks super uncomfortable. Wow. No, no, that's, I mean, that's pretty uncomfortable looking, too. That's a stationary bike, which doesn't, not as impressive. No, there's not, there's not pebbles or rocks. We got to get one hitting the road. Japanese dildo bikes. There we go. Japanese, of course. Two things coming look, together. Look, look, look what, oh, that's pretty crazy. The Dude. Japanese really are techno. Uh, They're so suppressed sexually that they come up with the coolest, weirdest sex shit. Are they suppressed, Japanese? I mean, they always blur out their dicks and their porns and stuff. But they make dildo bikes. And look, see, it goes in and out. That's pretty crazy. Oh, but she's like riding around. This is low key if you just want to go get fucked while you ride a bike. Yeah, you know what's, what's pretty the crazy volume about on? it is like, uh, probably just great Japanese music. That is about spirit of orgasm. Uh, is it go inside and then it come outside? Look at her. She's wearing sweatpants, so this is kind of a down low thing. It's pretty hot in a weird way. Um, but she also. Unless you got into a bike accident, you're like, oh my god, I, your pussy got, your pussy <laughs> came out. <laughs> I, I keep, keep saying pussy. I don't know why. Pussle. I like that word Pussle today. Damage. Um. The thing about the one that go that pumps in and out when you pedal is, I would say, it's got to stay inside the whole time because you don't want it to like miss, come up and miss. Oh, or what if you hit a hill and it, I imagine it goes with the pedals. So if you start really booking it down a hill, mm -hmm. if you let it go and not keep your foot <laughs> on the pedal, just ram it. Oh, this is a thrust that I've never felt before. Oh, no dildo bikes in ah. San Francisco. Uh, yeah, it's some Japanese, some disgraced Japanese physicist. <laughs> I have built a perfect a dildo bike. <laughs> I will show you. You did fuck my wife for perfect. <laughs> Can you, uh, I like, there's so many things, just dildo bikes. Uh, go to the one that says Alyssa rides a dildo bike. <laughs> I that somehow got turned into dildo bikes. <laughs> and you got out of the car to get cigarettes and got back in, you're like, now we're talking about dildo bikes? <laughs> oh, I think oh was, she's sucking the dildo bike. We were talking about... That's a little much. We were talking about the first Kent... My first Kent bike, and it turned into a dildo. By the way, my first bike was also a dildo bike. <laughs> yeah, Jay's just like, turns out it I learned... It took me years to find out all bikes didn't have pedal-activated dildos in them. I hated bikes for the first three years. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny, that guy running next to her like a proud parent. <laughs> You're doing it! You're doing it! Okay, he goes, I think you can let go now. <laughs> hey, I let go five minutes ago. <laughs> You've, you've been being fucked by that bike on your own for the past. For the hell? 
ComeOnHerFace.com, giving us such you know, great material. Really have, I'll tell you what's <laughs> interesting. This girl, I know that's the name of the site. This girl, ComeOnHerFace.com. Good site. <laughs> um, if you're curious how it ends always, they come on her face. Um, I'll tell you what this is. Unless it's the season finale. Then they want to throw it for a curve. I, I will say one thing. There's no gray area on dildo bike videos. It's either super discreet Asian girls or getting fucked through a, a small hole in their pants. Yeah. Or a butt naked Brazilian riding around town <laughs> through a park with men running next to her on dildo bike. Wait, oh, what? she just shows up to where there's already things happening, and they're already ready to come on her face. Dude, nothing makes me, and I know no one can see us at home, but nothing makes me more jealous than a, a fat guy with a big dick. Because I'm just like, well, all big guys like me, we just don't have big dicks, but this some guy, do. This guy's in a nice push-up position. I mean, that just went right from dildo bike to gangbang. Yeah. Uh, she rode a dildo bike to a gangbang, which actually, in hindsight, might be the best prep. I think it's genius. I think she was warming up. That's you like her up. wearing those full sweat. It's like when a fighter wears full sweatsuits. Absolutely. Like, oh, he's breaking a good sweat before this fight. He can't peek too much. That's like the that's the porn version of rolling out. When you yeah. roll out before a thing on the roll on the little uh, or, the foam rollers. Yeah, or you know, like when receivers get running starts, like how they used to in like the C in the <laughs> yeah. CFL, they can like run before the, a waterfall start. <laughs> That's uh, yeah, good for this girl. dildo bike. So there you go. Get for your kid. Get your kid a mud and guts dildo bike. <laughs> They're available at Target. <laughs> at Target. At Reese's Pieces. But the reason I brought up mud and guts was, I was going down a hill one time. I, I was eight, and my friend Jason was at the bottom of the hill. He's like, "Hey, stop! There's a car!" And I was like, "Yeah, sure, dude. I'll jump it." <laughs> and I sh and I just went in the street, and this old car was like, "Oh!" And just completely avoided me. I mean. Feet away from creaming me. Oh my god, that's terrifying. And then I did the thing where I go, Why did you say it was a car? And he's like, I did, you asshole. I just remember being a kid and being like, Oh, can't tell my mom about that one. Yeah, that's fucking terrifying. I just blitzed through a, just down a hill. I told you, when I, when I hit a little girl with my car, right? <laughs> tell the story. <laughs> Please don't tell me that's true. That's totally true. I never told the story on the show. <laughs> oh god, no. So traumatic. I really never told this? No. You're basically I, the truck driver from Pet Cemetery. I, yeah, except uh, this girl lived. Oh. I think. Okay. I, uh, oh, God. Yeah. Get All the right. cops on speed dial. This might be a confession. I just imagine the cops listening. He's like, oh, I'll swing by. Okay. I'll swing by, serious. Hey, son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> I've been working this cold case for 16 years. <laughs> no, it was. Uh, I was driving in when I lived in Astoria, Queens. I was taking these back roads to get back to my house. Yeah. Kareem Green, another comedian, was with me. Yep. And we're pulling up where we're going to. We have a green light. And we're going through the green. Thank God. Like, it doesn't even matter. It was still fast enough. But it was like probably like, you know, going 15 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour, maybe. And I see a, like an Indian family tries to, like, you know, cross against the light, you know, before I get there, which is, like, pretty idiotic. So and there, there's a van okay. parked in the corner of the street. So this family just kind of darts out and like you know, they go, which probably is what made me slow down a little bit too, which was nice. What? The family gets all the way across. This is the music that was playing, um, and I, I'm going through the green light, and then one more family member they forgot about, little girl, darts out against the light. Oh no! I hit the brakes, but I mean, she, <laughs> I mean, she rolls up like to the windshield, like, no looking way. at me with her hands. Was like, it the noise, dude? The dunk, dunk, dunk. Oh yeah, and then she, and then I stopped. What are you doing? And then I stopped the car, and she rolled back off the hood onto the ground, and, and then funny. stood up immediately and, and started crying. Oh, I was gonna say, what if she stood up immediately and then just tapped the hood and went, ah, "I'm just fucking with you. I work. I'm a child actor. I'm a child <laughs> stunt double. No. Good seeing you." Well, what she did was, uh, she gets up and starts crying. I get out of the car. All these like uh, ghetto by the projects over there. Yeah. All these ghetto people started going like. That wasn't your fault. I'll tell the police right there, right there. It wasn't your fault. That little girl jump out. I'm like, I don't care. But yeah. it's like I just want to make sure she's okay, and I'm gonna try to make sure she's okay. And the parents are literally like, dragging her off. Like he's trying to like, just drag her off, and I'm like, no, no, guys, 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 we're we gonna talk about this. I'm like, just wait. I'm like, I'm like I said, do you need like an ambulance or something? Is everything all right? He, he's like, she's fine, she's fine, she's Glad fine. Where are the doctors? Go away. And where he, are the doctors? He, he rushes, Beat it. He rushes her off, and someone pointed out like it's probably she was probably uh illegal they were probably in an illegal family so 
That's why he didn't want to wait Doesn't around. Suck if you're if you live. I here. mean, probably saved me like a a, a a whole bunch of headache. But I really was. Tr- I didn't give a shit about getting in trouble. I was worried about the girl. <laughs> that's your like commercial. Girl. That's your commercial for illegal immigration. You're like, hey, because when you hit him. It doesn't count. Doesn't even count. Hi, I'm Jay Ogerson from the Bonfire. I don't we have a lot of fun on the show. <laughs> but what isn't fun is hitting pedestrians in your car. Unless. They're illegal immigrants. <laughs> Turns out, if they are, you don't have to tell anybody. Because they're shit. afraid of getting thrown out. They dragged her off. Jesus. And, uh, and what was so funny was I had to go to the car wash the next day because when I walked outside in the morning. Just get those clumps out of hair. No. <laughs> Removed from your grill. <laughs> like a deer. No, hey, what was, you hit? Something big. What there was no. was there was like little girl handprints <laughs> no. like sliding down the front of the car. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> and I keep out the morning. I was like, oh, God. I was pretty frazzled uh, for a couple days. I can't wash your car, mister. I think you did something <laughs> real bad. But I mean, dude, when I hit her, she Rolled up the hood and like, and like, but like, but like, and Lana was like, her body was on the windshield looking at me, like, <laughs> complete eyes wide open. I was like, ah! And then it hit the brakes hard, and she rolled all the way back off. The <laughs> she was just mouth to her, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you just start fucking gunning it. There. You just gun it. Hold on. <laughs> what is he? Something awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you make her like a cop in a movie where she's just hanging on to the hood. I should have just gunned it and had yeah. her flip up to the roof of the car like Styles. Yeah, just start van surfing, Teen Wolf style. Have her Styles that shit. Oh, dude, that would be badass. So they just ran off. They just took off, yeah. I, mean, is... I was frazzled by it. I was yeah. people going like, you know, if the cops would have come, you might have gotten in a lot of trouble. I go, wasn't even overthinking that, man. I just wanted to make sure. Like, but, uh, like I hit a little girl with my car. Like, I hit her. I hit a human being with my car. A lot of people can't say that. I just imagine she's sitting there watching TV an hour later, and then her ear starts bleeding. And they're like, Raya, are you okay? Raya. She's like, <laughs> looks over. Daddy? Everything tastes like metal. <laughs> yeah. Is that batteries in my mouth? Oh, no. <laughs> Jay's just got away with vehicular manslaughter because they just took her. Because it was either they were illegal immigration or it was like that's like they thought it was her fault and they were embarrassed and they're like, I don't want, like, we got to get her out of here. Look, I, it, with that story especially, I hate to point out the fact that it was 100% her fault. It was the family's fault. And it was that dumb little girl's fault for getting a, out in the middle of the street. That's a great people's court thing where you just, that's your rebuttal. You're like, can he get any worse? And you're like, Your Honor. It's her fault. This dippy bitch just wanders out into the street. <laughs> oh, she ran out. It was crazy. Dude. Go. Oh, that feel, that meaty feeling of having your car oh, whack a person. <laughs> <laughs> just that that real. Yeah, that metal on meat. Oh, uh-huh. what if it? What if it? A, what she if like it, rolls up on the thing and it panned over to me and I'm smoking a cigarette on the other side of the street and I go go now. Go <laughs> 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 Go, go, go. Hey, Don't like, go, go. Get your family. Go get them. Oh. oh dude, dude, the, the, the project people were so great because they just were like, I mean, they were making me laugh. I had to tell one lady to shut up at one point because she was so like, yeah. she was trying to get my back, but it's just kind of like, who cares whose fault it was? Like, a girl just got hit by a car. I love it. And when the fact that goes, they go, you might as well just go then. And I was like, well, she's right about that. <laughs> yeah. Well, now you're starting to talk some sense. No reason to hang out. <laughs> well, she's gone. But, uh, I mean, it. I wonder, how many years ago was that? Mm. I mean, 13? 13, 13 years, years ago. ago. So that, that girl's 18 now. Well, she would have been. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there's still an empty table setting. <laughs> or they're like, we well, couldn't tell anybody that she died. How did your daughter die? In her sleep. <laughs> yeah. Not through causes. Uh, why is there a GMC on her neck? <laughs> <laughs> You just fucking nailed her. That's got to be one of the... The most yeah. embarrassing thing is I was a man driving a Volkswagen Jetta. He goes, sorry, this was my 16th birthday present from my sorry. dad. <laughs> what I don't like is they don't have the little flower thing like they do in the bug. Ew, I got your Indian hands all over it. Oh, uh, I just got it washed. You're just a bitchy <laughs> chick about the whole thing. Get, your, get off my car, you bitch. Oh, my God. 
You're totally denting my hood. Ew, I just hit this little girl in my car. Oh, how much did she weigh? She did so much damage to my hood. <laughs> did you hit a deer or a small child? A small Indian girl. Dude, I love the handprints on the hood would terrify With, me. But here's the thing. It starts, you see, yeah. it's, oh, it's not handprints, the wrong word for it. It's fingerprints. Streaks. That slide the whole way down, but it's like thick. So all you see is the top has fingers, and then like the rest of it is just solid. Yeah. Going straight down. Well, car. if that girl is alive, I think you owe her a dildo bike. I would have buy that girl a mud and guts dildo bike. <laughs> By the way, if ever there was a brand that should be the dildo bike, it'd be mud and guts. <laughs> <laughs> Let this bike get off in your guts. <laughs> you either churn up your mud or churn up your guts. Either way. Either way. You're getting churned up. Get churned up oh, with mud and guts. I want to know if they make a dildo bike video where they really mic the dildo. like... <laughs> <laughs> or one where they go off road with it, where it's like a real mountain bike, oh. <laughs> like a <laughs> like <you're> like <laughs> extreme biking yeah. down the side of a mountain. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, oh, go, go, oh god, oh fuck, oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. oh god, oh god, there's a clearing. No, 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 oh god, you know, go, all these bumps. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about go, some... Go, 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 <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to see a Japanese lady be all, like, sly about it. Like, ramp. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh, fuck, I just came. I just came everywhere. Fuck, that ramp just did it. You're like, oh. baby, baby, what do I got to do? What do I got to do to get you off? Uh, we have to go to up to the higher altitude. <laughs> I got to bomb down the side of a 14-er. I don't know. You got a dirt track in this bumfuck town? <laughs> you want to watch go, me? Go, 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 go. <laughs> uh, want to watch me do a sick jump? Oh, <laughs> uh, she's not a size queen. She's just a dirt whore. <laughs> well, it's like, I go guts on the uh, slalom days. Yeah. I go mud well, straight away. It is our anniversary. Maybe I'll do some. Maybe I'll do some mud. <laughs> yeah. You want me to try some mud today? You uh, gonna go for a couple's bike ride? Yeah. If no one makes a mud and guts dildo bike, then you're an idiot. Is there a tandem dildo bike? <laughs> Does that exist? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. A threesome Baby, bike. Tell me about my best, best friend. friend. Go. Go. <laughs> he goes. He goes. Have you come yet? He goes. No, I'm doing all the pedaling. Oh, hello, you selfish bitch. Why don't you help? Smacking that ass. <laughs> People let me tell you about I think, I think 2016, 2017 going to be a big year for dildo bikes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we got to take it back. We, we got to take a break, but... Uh, Already? I, no, we got a little bit of time, Jacob. It? What do you think? Oh, he just gave a little high five. Ooh. A little Jacob paw. Five, four, three, two. Dildo bike! <laughs> I just he put he's putting on goggles. Cut to Jacob in New Hampshire somewhere, and they are in the Catskills. <laughs> Time to bomb down. Oh, at the live show, we should definitely present Jacob a dildo bike. Should we give away a dildo bike at the live show? <laughs> we should give away one dildo bike. Could, do you think that'd be possible, Jacob, for us to get a dildo bike? I'm certain. Can we get a custom made dildo bike? If anyone's no, in the bicycle game, I want me game, and you to make the dildo bike. <laughs> welder's mask on. I, pro I promise you, there's someone out here listening to this show at some yeah. point that has the engineering ability to make a dildo bike pretty cheap, pretty easy. Why don't you just make the seat? What, what is that make, supposed to mean? Make the bike seat with the dildo on it, and then you just attach it to a regular bike. No, that's not how it works, Lou. I don't no. know if you watch the technology of dildo bike. There's got to be some you... mechanism that the pedaling yeah. pumps it into your mud and guts. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it can't just be. Uh, you're not just gonna be. That sucks. Just you know, sitting on a dildo. Lou, I'm you upset just, you by just that. showed yourself how low rent you are. God, I just made a fool of myself. What are you, Wait, you're just gonna sit on a fucking dildo the whole time and not have it pump? You'd be the worst. Fuck if you were a lady. They just lay there. Wait, she's like, Lou is a chick. Is it in? <laughs> Leave it there. Let it soak. <laughs> Lou, wants a, Lou wants a fucking uh, a dead lay missionary dildo bike. Yeah. Just laying there, legs hey, open. Can, uh, is there a dildo bike that can uh, make me feel like I've been in a marriage for 20 years? <laughs> and that this I'm is just going to lay it in you and fall asleep. Yeah. You just move around until you get yours. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the stew comes out of you, Lou, Doesn't and I don't like it. Oh, uh, we really do got to get Lou drunk on air. We're, we're talking about that. Yeah, we, we have to do it on nothing. We have nothing else to do after the show. 
I'll get tossed with Lou. Just be a love fest. Oh, let's, dude. Let's do it on the live show tonight. And we'll do it. We'll be like, uh, we'll be like, dude, dude. We're going to make so much money off dildo bikes. Yeah. You'll see. Merkface has got a, a dildo bike update. 800 bucks. Yeah, 800 It took me no time to find a website. $800? That's, that's ridiculous. I bet we could have it made it cost. Oh, wait. It's a website that sells. What's it called? 1-800-7-CARS-FOR-KIDS. <laughs> dildo bikes. <laughs> dildo bikes for whores. Yeah. We'll make your bike today. What is it? Bling! Christine, can you bring it up on the screen so we can see this? I mean, can, do we have the budget? What does Comedy Central think about I it? I think we could hit, Take this some of that I think money. We hit this website up, and if we plug the website... We will give the website such a big... As much plugging as the dildo we'll bike. give away a dildo bike we'll away to a kid who's like then good in the school. Yeah. Okay. Dildo bike. Oh, it's stationary, though. No, oh. I, <laughs> I like that you guys have done your research. I need a neighborhood riding bike. A riding fucking bicycle, yeah. Oh, that's great. It's got it's got a low rider too. It's pretty gangster, except yeah. for the fact that, that thing is. Going. Hey, what's up? Where did you get that low rider? And I'll be honest with you, I'm a little worried about the positioning of this dildo. It looks like it's only mud. Yeah, it's definitely only mud. It's, it's on the pretty, back of the seat. It's pretty in the back there. But um, if we could find what's the company? I bet we could find a camper who could make us one. I'm certain we can find an industrious camper who can make us one, but then we're getting into uh, cost again. I'm one, I'm trying to think here. I'd rather give money to a camper than I would to just some crack website that's selling lowrider buttfuck bikes. I would too, but I'm wondering if we can get a donated dildo bike if we give it away uh, at a show and keep mentioning the website. Yeah, Christmas I mean, comes early. <laughs> Christmas C-U-M's early. Is there any company that just makes dildo bikes, or is it just some guy makes a dildo bike? And just a, it up on the just a frantic man in his garage. Honey, I told you I'm working on my car. That car hasn't been fixed in 17 years. <laughs> <laughs> just got a fleet of dildo bikes in the backyard. <laughs> mm, I know. Oh, you just hear all this. He's just welding. <laughs> Perfect. Just as I imagined it. You're looking at just a regular bike now. No. Yeah. Is Christine building her dream dildo bicycle? She's like, all right, first of all, <laughs> I'm going to get a dildo bike. This thing's going to be on a fucking... If we're going top notch... Yeah, because this thing's going to be on a Schwinn. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going no bullshit here. Pegs included. Um, There's going to be dildo bike factory you looked up that's a weird google search that that i love next time somebody goes to do it it's already been done i bet we set the precedent on that one <laughs> dildo bike goes well in this town you know you either learn how to play guitar or you go to work at the dildo bike factory <laughs> <laughs> yeah no things were good until 87 and they shut down half the dildo bike factory <laughs> my hometown i guess pussy's changed in america oh there's got to be a bruce springsteen song in there somewhere she not a dildo box factory. <laughs> Lucy <laughs> met me down at work after the dildo box factory <laughs> shut the down. The smell of rubber and metal <laughs> in the air made her think of that dildo factory <laughs> she got away from. <laughs> <laughs> I said, meet me down at the mud and guts factory. After work, we're gonna get out of this place and run away. <laughs> Living in the town, doing everyone in a <laughs> me and uh, me and Fenoya will just, just do uh were we doing that for you the one day the Bruce Springsteen songs it's like you gotta just pick a, a good name for a girl and whatever you're doing and then it's because you're living in whatever it is town yeah like, me and Susie went down to get a burger we were starving all day cause we're living here in hungry town <laughs> Dildo Bike Factory though might have to go into that list of Springsteen lyrics oh yeah Absolutely. <laughs> and one of his little rants in the beginning goes, I remember I was working down as a teenager. Best job you can get in town was down at the Mud and Guts Dildo the Bike Factory. 19, 1967. My dad <laughs> let me go out and get my first job. I applied at the Mud and Guts Dildo Bike Factory. I wrote this song about it. It was either go to war. I wasn't fighting no war I didn't believe in. I said I'll be over at the Mud and Guts Dildo Bike Factory if anybody needs me. Five years ago, I was playing a concert in Alabama. A woman came up to me and said, uh, when I was a little girl, 
for Christmas I got a mud and guts dildo bike and, and fuck my pussy so well I went on to become a doctor. This song's for her. <laughs> And I was married <laughs> Living down in Alabama Bad body You can smell Getting fucked on the way to school And back home again Then you know Till we start playing the little, little interlude goes, You know You could always tell when you were home Because You could smell the burning smell of rubber As they Burned off all the dildos That didn't make the cut They had a very high standard My daddy died when I was 27 years old I went home to clean out my house And I found the first dildo bike ever <laughs> My mom said, your daddy rode that. <laughs> I said, I thought, I didn't know daddy was in the ass play. Yeah. And I wrote this next song. I found my daddy's calipers for measuring the perfect size of bike dildo. <laughs> Turns out my daddy was a size queen. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out... <laughs> Turns out my daddy liked to get his butthole fucked. <laughs> now, you learn a lot of things about your daddy after they pass. The one thing I was most surprised about is my daddy was a size queen. He liked it big and he liked it long. They said, you never become a man until you bury your father. <laughs> when I did, I found out my dad had a, a gaping white asshole. <laughs> and that's why he could never say he loved me. Because he could never sit down comfortably. <laughs> This next song's for real. Papa, this is for you. <laughs> All up in your guts, wherever you are. I hope you've finally got a closed butthole up in heaven. <laughs> and you're filled with the love you were looking for. I hope and you're now right now. <laughs> Come and get him butt-fucked every morning on his way to work. Uh, man, I bet you what, if you hit a hill on this thing, though, a downhill, like, it's basically a free ride. That's where you really just get to just let it uncork on Or you, you make that noise that the guy made when he got killed fucking that horse. What was that noise? <laughs> the sound of like your tongue swelling. Let's <laughs> do, do our best getting fucked to death by a horse noise. Dude, I'll tell you, that was my. I think we may have found that early on yeah. in the show, but that girl, that noise that girl makes when the horse just lines up and drills her, and she's like, boom! <laughs> This horse is dead, bud. <laughs> horse is dead, bud. <laughs> That's the best. We're like, all right, just, all right, just ease him in. Just ease, ease him, him in. in. There he is. All right, buddy. Hey, Thunder, don't get to it. Okay. Oh, then we're not talking about the horse just mounts. <laughs> Hold on, we're almost there. Just aim it and. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so full. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad because he's trying to do work and we're just talking about Bruce Springsteen's dad. Oh, he's doing recording work too and just in the background you just hear guys mimicking getting fucked by horses and riding dildo bikes. He's like, uh, in this week's uh, debate update, Hillary Clinton. Ball. Ball. Horses. Butt fucking. Ball. Dildo bike. Should we take a break? Uh, we should take a break, but we really do have to. We should do Bruce, uh, should we do Bruce? Is. We gotta see if somebody will we'll get uh, it. We'll get a donated bike for. But we only have a few weeks before the live show. Exactly at the bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Follow us along. We'll uh, you know have all that stuff, and maybe we should probably do a Bruce Springsteen day today. I'm not gonna argue that. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. It's the bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. <laughs> yes. Welcome back as the bonfire. Uh, after that last break, it's real hard to listen to Spring Seed <laughs> Straight Face. And I was riding on a dildo bike. Me and Susie went down to the lake. It's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Series XM 95. I'm Dan Soder, that's Big J. Okerson. That's the boss, Bruce Springsteen, on Bruce Springsteen Wednesday. Susan locked it in the mud, and I locked it in the guts. And everyone in between knew that we were crazy in love. <laughs> Down by the river, on a tandem dildo bike, built by my daddy. If you don't know, we were talking about dildo bikes. We're looking for one, to give away one, for the live bonfire. It's part of the New York Comedy Festival, November 1st, at the Village Underground. You can go to ComedyCello.com for tickets, for tickets, 
And uh, yeah, we're going to have some fun shit lined up. Birdface is wow. even buying so. himself something for the live show, which we can't give away. He's get his own dildo bike? He's going to ride a dildo bike. bike there. He's going to get a dildo jetpack. <laughs> Who told the rollerblades? Ow, ow, ow. We should have taken the uh, time to read this because there's some pretty great, like here. It says, after we created a fucking bicycle, we received a lot of requests about real riding bicycle. So now it's ready and tested and on the road. It's a riding version of fucking bicycle. The riding bicycle is made of an ordinary folding road bicycle as an additional gear uh, running over the chain. The gear drives the levers... Uh, the lever's mechanism that goes up and down the sliding carriage with the dildo. This is my favorite part here. Normal bicycle riding tempo creates approximately 50 to 150 RPM dildo strokes per minute. That's so that's a that's a jackhammer. I mean, you're getting fucked. <laughs> but speed racing is also possible. Speed racing with a dildo? Uh, maybe used with a support. For home, uh, okay, use. we're getting sixteen hundred dollars, and we're having a dildo bike race. It can be a man versus a woman. It can be a woman versus a woman. Hell, it can be two men. I don't give a shit. But I think we should do a bonfire dildo bike race. If we raise one hundred thousand dollars for charity, charity, me and Dan Soder will <laughs> do it a complete lap around Manhattan and do on dildo bikes. <laughs> no way. Me and Dan run around the city you know, in our dildo bikes you know, together. You know how bloody those dildos would be? <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Grease them up, dude. Yeah. Bloody. I get out. Just... You think your butthole's more delicate than some chicks? Yeah. I think I have a... It's like Kurt Metzger's joke. I have the most <laughs> delicate... Sweet, but... sweet, <laughs> sweet shooter. Ass. But yeah, let's do that. Let's get two Dildo bikes. bikes around the city? Dildo bike, dildo bike race, if we can. I'd love to fucking give a dildo bike away. That would mean so much to me. Just to present it to somebody? Anybody. Any camper that wants a dildo bike. Any camper. Could be a guy. Girl. Or a girl. But we have to find some way. How do you win it? That's what we got to come up with. First, let's get the bike. Then we can come up with the competition to get the bike. I'd love to get it sooner than later. So just in the comedy office up here, we just have to have a dildo bike waiting. And we're like... Why is this dildo bike here? Because we, we need it for a thing. But then we make Jacob uh, just once take the dildo bike as he's wearing a helmet and go through the office and then down the front stairs. But say goodbye to everybody. Say goodbye, but hold it up over his shoulder. <laughs> Night, Nancy. Night. Bye, everybody. Bye, Doris. Bye, Doris. Have a good night. Have a long weekend. All right, I'll see you on Tuesday. Hey, Greg, you on para parasailing this weekend? Yeah, there oh, he is. Sounds fun. Hey, go Big Blue, right? All right, I'm getting out of here. He's just got a Delta bike over his Hey, shoulder. where are you watching the game this weekend? Maybe I'll join you. Yeah, all right. Well, I got to go over the bridge. <laughs> There's too much traffic. Oh, I know you live a couple miles away, but I got a new bike. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm just trying to get my legs in shape. <laughs> Lou, well, how much? Lou, how much for you to ride a dildo bike? I don't <laughs> want to be fucked by a bike. None of us do. Yeah, I didn't even. Well, know. I can't speak for Christine. I only want to be fucked by a car. Is there a dildo car? <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna be fucked by some bike. What am I, a child? Yeah, I want. If it didn't have hydraulics, I would. I would do it. If it didn't have hydraulics? Yeah, if it was what I thought it was, which is oh, just a, sta a standing. Oh, Lou, th you just tallywhacker that thing to the side and, and ride away. What do you mean? I don't yeah. want to be fucked by a fucking bike seat. Oh, you'd let it butt fuck your. You'd let it. You thought it was going to be no seat. No, the seat. You need the seat as like the. I don't need that's it. That's like where the sword stops when you stab somebody. You can't have just a fucking straight. It's going to go through your whole body. You're going to get skewered like Cannibal Holocaust, man. Yeah, bike. I hate this bike. bike. This stupid bike. Nothing. I got a little karate. <laughs> Tell you, son. Tell you, son. Why you throw away your dildo bike? You stole me. In my country, it's a great dishonor to throw. The drunk singer. Dildo bike. Christine, are you intrigued at all by dildo bike? Intrigued, yes, but I don't necessarily want to try it. Okay. Well, that's you said two options. No, but you're terms. intrigued by. Are you intrigued by like who would do it, or are you, are you intrigued by the entire concept? The the whole concept seems weird. I mean, it's you're like, not curious to try it as a girl. If I had a puss, I'd give it a whip. I feel like if you had a puss, it would be destroyed by now. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> oh my god. I would do like yeah. I would do like skid out stuff. So I'd like <laughs> <laughs> should I fan it out? <laughs> 
Do tricks, hop up on the fucking front pegs, oh, spin the wheel. I have thought of you doing a slide stop on a dildo on a bike. Dildo bike. It's the best thing that I've Ooh. ever imagined. Like, Later, losers. This is our dildo bike. <laughs> Popping wheelies. You just grunt real quick though. You go. Oh, do you know the air you got to get to Ghost Rider? That shit though. Ghost Rider. You got to really jump up off of it. Ah, oh, dude. Yeah, I want to know. I want to know a couple things. I want to know who wants a dildo bike, and I want to know who can get us a dildo bike. What's the market for it, you're saying? Yeah. Well, Japan, clearly. It, yeah, well. But, Christine, you're saying you're not intrigued. You wouldn't be interested in trying. I'm not saying you're going to ever try it. I'm saying, like, uh, as a girl, you're not like, I bet that would be kind of interesting to try. Yeah, it would be interesting to try. But how I mean, like, to break her down. No, but how it's like, I don't want to, I, wanna, I would never it. go riding right. in the street on a dildo bike. And it's of like, course. where are you going to get a private place where it's like you get to go in and try a I dildo bike? I think Chelsea bike by Pierce yourself. is a closed course dildo bike. <laughs> yeah. Christine, it's good also, news. I've rented the only closed bicycle course. <laughs> It's not something I would ever do publicly if a, the situation came up where I could privately try that. Yeah, I'd I hope mean, not. You've okay. met my parents. <laughs> It'd be great if, if she took the opposite route. She's like, fuck yeah, I'll take it down 6th Ave. <laughs> fuck yeah, all right, throw the bike right to your dad's house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, w- <laughs> I mean, I'm sure... the dildo. Daniel said... Stupid bike. I hate you, bike. I hate you, Dildo Bike. It just is amazing to me the creativity that people can have for sexual stuff. Well, I mean, the pedal dildo is not a uh, thing. Doesn't that sound like, sound like a high school science project, like if, a physics project? If like, you look at those. Make it a working dildo bike. If you look at, like, go to the fucking machines website. Before you just looked at those, how crazy are we getting into are? the world of machines? Now that oh. I've watched Westworld, I just want to get into the world of machines and crazy. I mean, like, all right. I, I would say go to the actual website. We don't have to watch porn. I think it's fuckingmachines dot com. Mm-hmm. No. Mm, do you think yes, we maybe. Get, do you think we could find somebody who works on fucking machines to come on the show? The girl who who there's so owns, many questions. The I girl have. who owns it definitely. I mean, they, she did Stern like years ago, but I, I'd have I have a zillion questions. Absolutely, it's not we don't we're porn. Where's the is there's a website for fucking machines? That's what I typed in, and it took that's me her, kink dot com. That's oh, her biggest. Is probably it. That's her biggest gripe. She's like the legitimacy of Store. fucking machines is constantly <laughs> brought into question. Oh, absolutely. Is this the store? So here's the store. Maybe. There we go. But, whoa. <laughs> right. I did not see that coming. Oh, what a w- weird wallpaper to have. Did not see the dude showing up. Uh, two dudes banging on their, as their wallpaper. Gear, but this is not what a... Uh... Look, here it is. I like that Jacob's coming over like he knows exactly where to go. He goes, <laughs> get out of the way. On. Usually it should be the thing. When you type in the first three letters, it should fill in the rest of the bar. No, it's just a dildo with a remote control. I'm talking about they have these fucking crazy, like, you pedal, like, things, and it, like, it shoots. Well, Japan has the sex dolls, so they're actually making, like, sex robots now for men. That's insane. But, I mean, you can see the videos here of them using them, I guess. There's just something innocent about a dildo bike. Oh, there is. No, that's what you get. I mean, you put some pigtails on the chick, yeah. or dude, or dude. But I'm saying, like, oh wow. Oh, is here? Here we go. Motor fun. Motor fun. There's a tank. There's a dildo tank. No way. Look go at back. that. Look, look at the double thing. Oh, dildo tank. Fuckosaurus. machine gun. I'll be honest with you guys. Can we get the budget just to get a lot of these? Oh, man. Can we? Can, you remember the movie can we Toys? Can we like de- Robin can we, Williams? Can we have it like that, but with dildo toys? Can we just decorate fucking Fugelsang and Serious Hits 1 studio with like, fucking machines? Go I mean, every time I go there, there's like a fucking soda can and all kinds of shit. And we'll give him a tour and we'll be like, so we just ordered the uh, fuck tank. Go to the and teddy you keep bear. That. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, it's great. Favorite teddy bear. They're using the English spellings. Oh, they're fancy. Very assholes. European. Is this your? This feels like a European website. Uh, it hits sixty RPMs. <clears throat> it is uh, because it tells you that it's a twelve centimeter. 
And the euros. It's probably in euro. The uh, the dildo stroke is 12 centimeters. Would you like to see my $500 fuck bear? <laughs> I bought it this summer. The money I had <laughs> set aside. It was for a birthday present. He's a leftover. He's a no big whoop. Nine inch cock. Uh, <laughs> it's circumcised, which I have a problem with. But no big whoop. No big whoop. It's just some fun money. Um, I spent my fun money on yeah, it. Yeah, if we could find the, the girl who does the oh, pleasure sofa. Why is that not in this office? <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Oh, it's a couch where dildos come Three out. Dil By the way, it's, it's like Wolverine. It's <laughs> yeah, snicked. <laughs> Remember that's what we always said yeah, in the fucking... Snicked. Snicked. A love seat with three dild one dildo comes out on each cushion. I'll be honest with you. I would love to have a party at my house and let people figure that, like, find that out. That's where you do the laughing to yourself thing. You go, hey, why don't you uh, move up to the front? <laughs> you, know, you guys all in position? <laughs> Hey, you know what? I'll sit over here on the. Uh, I'll sit on the single chair. You, yeah. you, you guys have the sofa. You guys take the sofa. I'll. Uh, that stool's fine. <laughs> you sit down. You guys uh, why don't you take your pants off too. <laughs> Let me put on some Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> I was running around my dildo back. I knew I was so fancy free. Oh, the rocking chair seems perfect. Ah, uh, for the that older, seems like the one. for the older creeps. Oh, uh, uh, I'll be honest. Uh, with you, that chair's not rocking. Uh, it's uh, just. Uh, bouncing back, and you got to have a perfect angle for that. And really, is that the angle, Christine? No, is the it only looks like it's going the wrong angle. Like it looks like it's going in an angle that would hurt you. Yeah, like, that's not how you want looks, a dick to go it, inside you. It looks like it's going to like. All right, do we have that isolated? <laughs> uh, but we will. <laughs> do we have that clean? Um, that's not how you want a dick to go inside of you. Um, <laughs> um, that looks like yeah. If you're get, oh, I don't know though. If you're dog getting doggy fuck, don't you want a, a, an up curve? We, how, how would that be getting doggy fucked? Because you're sitting in a chair. Oh, so you're like, your butt's to the back. It's like you're getting doggy style fucked, but you're sitting. So it's coming up and in. At the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat to see the dildo chair. I actually about. think that's the right... I was, I was with you that it was wrong, but I think it's right. I feel like you guys are furniture shopping right now. <laughs> like erotic furniture shopping where you go, I just don't know if this is right for the living room. Well, it's a, a swing on a back axle. Uh, the body weight is compensated by front leg springs, allowing free swing and a seat without extra force. So That's pretty good. That's like This is like this old house, but with uh, <laughs> like Bob Vila, but with dildo chairs. No, Christine, I, I'm on, I think that's right. That makes sense. Think about what's happening there. Hey, do you guys remember Bob Vila? I do remember Bob Vila. Whatever happened to him? Is he dead? Um, I think... I don't think he's dead. I think he might be alive. My stepdad had like a weird fixation with him. Do you want to reach out if he's alive? To have Bob Vila on and the ask bonfire? Him to ask him to build our dildo bike. <laughs> he's alive. And he's uh, fucking verified. Oh, dude, if we can get Bob Vila. And Biela. by the way, he's got over a million followers. <laughs> if we can get Bob Vila to build us a dildo bike. Um, tweet out whoever's doing our show. Tweet to Bob Vila if he'd be interesting for a popular radio show to build a dildo bike. Oh, uh, no, just making something. Don't put dildo bike on until the second we need contact with him first oh you're right we have to make contact I got Bob Vila and, and building way, me a dildo uh, bike with also who he follows that we should follow Martha Stewart let's get her involved also oh she could really make it she could bring the whole thing together we could have a little a bike riding picnic at the end <laughs> what I like to do is after I get butt fucked on my mud and guts dirt bike tag Comedy Central on this too so he knows it's legit. Is this from Boogie Nights? Yeah. Are we gonna fuck? Okay, but don't come inside of me. Okay. Um, I like to ride. Dude, yes. if we get Bob Vila, can we just get Bob Vila on the show? Because he's like the most. He's the handiest man of all time. <laughs> That's great. And Martha Stewart asked her if she'd like to join in the fun. I mean, he really does, he has a million followers. Because I would like Martha Stewart, honestly, to like help like for design things and everything like that. I mean, we're putting together our dream team for dil making a dildo bike. Yeah. We're going to make the dildo bike that's worth the most money ever. Yeah. We're going to make the highest class. I feel... So we're going to get like the Aston Martin of dildo bikes. I like, the, I like going in the wormhole here, by the way. Um... I like to, it was a girl who played Precious, also see if she wants to test it. We can oh, just yeah. test it. Christine, don't tweet it out now, though, because it's not live. Let's wait till Wednesday. Not too late. It's already tweeted. Oh, uh, did you? 
<laughs> oh, God, I don't know what that oh. is. <laughs> they, get, they get skeezy sounding after a... <laughs> I wonder if anyone's following the bonfire right now. They're like, why the fuck are they tweeting at Bob Vila? And why did it get deleted so quick? <laughs> is there some sort of... Is there another cease and desist? Is there a Bob Vila theory? <laughs> is this involved with the opium gym stuff going on? What's happening? What the fuck is going on here, man? What's going Is Bob Vila involved? Should we take another break? Yeah, let's take a break. I got a pee. I go pee. Dildo Bike Wednesday. On the bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. I'm the baby dildo bike. Hey, it's the bonfire. It's Dildo Bike Day. Damn right it is, and it's Bruce Springsteen Wednesday. We're Come. live, but not new somehow. Yeah, that's a new thing that's <laughs> happened. I'm Dan Soto. That's Big J. This is the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Series XM 95. We're, uh, it's we're learning so much today. We're, I've learned a lot about dildo bikes. I've learned a lot about fuck machines. Christine oh. doesn't know the shape of her own vagina. I think she does. No, she doesn't, because that rocking chair, would. she'd love it. Say it, Christine. I think it's wrong. I still think it's the wrong way. Yeah. An up curve... When yeah, your dog, when you're sitting down, you're not going to be on the chair backwards. Picture, you know what you need. Picture, picture doggy position. If set, this was a right, doggy if, style, but if this was a mm-hmm. live show, think about what you're saying. <laughs> no, motherfucker, you think I ain't got? <laughs> I, I, I got my second. This got, thing is zoomed on you. We bro. both have Nerf guns, so we're just <laughs> aiming at each other like a hostile standoff. <laughs> I'm going to have to give you the line from Tombstone. When you put it away, there. Now we can be friends again. <laughs> I'm putting mine down. You put yours down. Be cool. Be cool. Um, but if we had like Stephanie Falcone and Sarah McPants and Leslie to team yeah, vagina, need the you need the girls to back you up on this. Yeah. Because I honestly, I plead the fifth. I, I, I don't know. I think Christine's just viewing this from, I think she, by her words. I don't know it's from her telling You know me. her vagina, Jay. I've seen it. No, look, if you're sitting like this. Forget sitting. Forget sitting. Doggy Damn. style. You're on all fours. Like the slut your parents made. Whoa. No, I'm kidding. Um, if you're on all fours and a guy's behind you, isn't that when an up curve is good? That's when an up curve feels good, right? No. You want to go? Da- you want a guy with a down curve dick for that? Yes. Really? Cause yeah, because the the vagina goes clo- it goes up and in towards your belly button, right? Yes. Think about like where yeah, your clit is and where your G right. spot is. Why would you want something to go away from that? You want it to go towards that. Why do girls like up curves on dicks then? I don't know. When you're on your back. When you're on your back on your is back. when they like it. The way God made you, you to be. Blow, blow, blow. Oh, we just found a new favorite thing to do. <laughs> it is my favorite thing. But now I'm out. Oh, you stupid should. thing. And I am just reloaded. <sighs> Jay, now it looks like the power dynamic has changed. No! A couple things here. We're not calling it Bonfire anymore. We're calling it Sons of Gary. (laughs) Second thing. Jacob, take the shirt off. (laughs) Jacob, shirt off. (laughs) You're the new hot and tot. (laughs) Oh, fuck. I know we had other things we wanted to talk about, and then we somehow got into a whole dildo bike tangent. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was going to bring up the fact that I walked by um, on the way to the show today. I was walking. It's like a... The office is in the back corner, so we walk by more offices than we used to. Sure. And one of them was just this uh, it's like kind of like sad-looking 48-year-old lady with a Mike Piazza poster in front of her. <laughs> and it was like, oh, man, lady, I know he's like your number one, but he's gay. <laughs> like, is he gay, Mike Piazza? I don't know. That's And then we started talking about it in the office, and we started talking about athletes that everyone thinks they're gay, and then Lou, who's a diehard Mets fan... Brought up the fact that... And loves gays. Loves gays. Loves gay culture. He's so gay. Are you but, saying that uh, Mike Piazza is possibly riding the proverbial dildo bike? I mean, could he be a... Yeah, this is all athletes that we might give dildo bikes to after, the, <laughs> after they win the championship. Do you guys remember when he had a he had a, a press conference to say that he wasn't gay? No. In 1998? Please, please wasn't it all just about that he put, like, frosted tips in his hair? That's I mean, what I said I, mean, I did that, too. At one point, in fact, is Jay gay? In fact, in fact, I'm putting this out there now as a pre-record. But next time we come in live, it'll be the thing. I think tomorrow I'm splitting my hair in the middle, blonde on one side. I'm just gonna go for it. Do something funky you're for gonna, a couple weeks. You're gonna do the Seth Rollins? Yeah. You're gonna go half blonde, half black? Yeah. 
Okay. I won't see you until a week from today. Um, why is that? Because this is that's why we're doing the show for Wednesday. Oh, I know, but I'll oh uh, we won't see it on radio, but you'll see it before. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I'll see you around. You better not leave me. I'm not gonna leave you, buddy. I want to see your half head. All right, You're gay too- rumored. If it, if it looks stupid blonde, I'm gonna do it red, and then I'll probably just. I mean, it'll grow out in three weeks. So. Yeah. But yeah, I'm giving it a whirl. So I hope people don't think I'm gay for that. Are you gonna bleach first? Yeah. That's gonna. Is that painful? That's the blonde thing. Yeah. Is that painful? No, not at all. Well, the guy, the, the gay guy who's going to do it for me, is going. that's why the gay rumors are about to start. I'm blowing him for to pay for it. Oh, okay, cool. What, Jacob, what is that? Piazza's wife. That's Piazza's wife? Nice beard. Dude, nice crazy. beard, queer. Christine, bring up Piazza's wife. And also, if you can find that 98 press conference, because that's got to be insane to have a press conference just guys, defending it's you. it's so super silly that you even think I'm gay. Oh, you guys are being <laughs> such bitches. I love... Women. Oh, she's actually odd looking. Shut she's up. She's very pretty there. Hey. Now she's odd looking. Yep, odd looking. Are they still married? Odd looking. Yes, they're still married. She was a Playboy model. Odd looking. That's how I know her. Odd. <laughs> why do you think she's odd. odd? Jay, why do you think she's odd looking? She's very facial plastic surgery ish. I feel like. I think over time. Yeah. Yeah, well, she's in her 40s. I'll be honest with you. Everything I've, every time I've said odd looking, I could also have been talking about Mike Piazza. He's gotten very odd looking. I am not gay. How old is he? He's got to be about 44. That's it? No. He looks terrible. Yeah. He looks absolutely terrible. And he was like, girls love that dude. So what is the whole, how did it start that people thought he was gay? There were such rumors. There was rumors that him and Sam Champion here in New York, he was weatherman, Sam Champion. Oh, yeah, I know Sam Champion. That they were a couple. Oh, do you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, were you the actual one? That I know him from the swing scene. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the bathhouses, me and Sam Champion. Hey, oh. Sam, coming in, we got a warm front of dick. <laughs> Later. Sam, we have a bunch of runner-ups in here. Where's the champ? Oh, hey, Sam, I'm about to give you a nor'easter all over your back. <laughs> <That's what> I- <laughs> oh, uh, oh, this thing's just been downgraded to Tropical Storm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she looks fantastic there. I mean, I'm just, these are pictures, you know what I mean? Like, you go picture to picture to me, I look everywhere, everything from bad to worse, but... I mean, so, like, but I want to know how did it was frosted tips didn't just start the whole rumor that Piazza. Was that was gay. a lot of it. I think Yankee fans started. That was a lot of it. Really? Yeah. Is that, is that your conspiracy theory as a Mets fan? Yeah, because I remember back back then. Yeah, everybody's like, yeah, he's a great player, but it's too bad he's gay. Yeah, no, you no, know, he's a good catcher. Honestly, you guys traded well for the Dodgers for him. Too bad he's gay. <laughs> oh, what? Is her too bad he's gay. That's her naked? I love her. I love her. And why do I love her, Dan? Muff. Look at that muff. By the way, that's the. these are the best years of muff, when it was a nice, full, but like low-trimmed beef. Hey, if you're listening to the bonfire, you know we love muff. But, you know, it's funny. I met uh, briefly at Oddball in Irvine, uh, the comic. She does photography, I guess, now. Felicia Michaels, remember her? She used to have that really squeaky voice. She was married to Dave Becky, the big yes. free arts agent, yes. for a long time. Yes, 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 yes. She did Playboy. And uh, it was so funny. Like, I met her, and then I went immediately into Christina's. I'm like, look, look, look. It's her beef. <laughs> it's her beef. It's her beef. Yeah, Jace, looks- it's your beef. She showed beef. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Jay's an eager beaver. I'd love yeah. to have your head on a cartoon beaver. <laughs> With what? Like Jay's an eager beaver. Jay loves beef. Oh, that's uh, what's her face? That's April Macy. We had her down at Sanford and Sons. I was almost close to banging her. Next thing I know, so I'm like, hey, you're sucking everyone's dick. Might as well throw my dick in the ring. Here's a coat. Next thing I Made know, a dog. Buy her dinner. Dog's there. Mother comes <laughs> over. This one does that. Zip, zap, zim, zam, zoom. Next thing I know. Kapow, kapow. Next thing I know, I'm up on sexual harassment charges. Now. And it's just like, not worth it to book girl comics. I have owned Sanford and Sons for 98 years. It was the first place comedy was ever done. George Burns was born in the showroom. If I hire you, you don't have to have sex with me, but you should have sex with me. <laughs> It'll be quick in the office. Laptop Dog. open. Dawn's there. <laughs> I'll give you right home. Shut up, Junior. Yeah. Junior, you want? Oh, Junior. Oh, Junior, you want a slice? Yeah. 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 Well. 
keep growling at me. He won't go home in the lotus. <laughs> There he is. There's Junior. Me and Mike Piazza. We're butt fucking. He's in it's the spots. <laughs> He's the catcher for the Dodgers. I had some stuff in LA. <laughs> we were hanging out. We hopped on a tandem dildo bike. He goes five. Down. He goes five for six. <laughs> I end up face down as a. <laughs> he hits the cycle. Then he, I mean, he is up in me like a riding mower. I and mean, let me just tell you, my brother's watching. He calls out. We got five minutes left. Uh, oh, man, yeah, the baseball references I want to make about Mike Piazza and Gay Sex <laughs> are unlimited, but you really think that they, it was Loop all... up and slide into second? Yeah. Stuff like that? Mm-hmm. Ground rule double. <laughs> you think Yankee fans started it? Yeah, it was just a bad rumor. It was just uh, hatred of gay people and hatred of the Mets. But why, what would it be the big deal if he was gay? Would I that just, bother you? Luke? I think that'd be great if, if there was a gay baseball player who was just... Just knocking the shit out of the ball. It would make him more interesting. He's not really that. Uh, but I've always said that about professional athletes, where it's like, um, why not? I mean, it, I mean, the culture is awful to come out for homosexuals in professional athlete, uh, athletics, especially like contact sports like football and shit like that. So many black dudes. But there's a, there's a lot of gay men have to be playing this sport. No, it's definitely happening. I'm just saying, like that is a tough one. Like, like young, you know, you can figure a lot of these guys like. From Florida, bad neighborhood, but saying, Bama, bad but neighborhoods. Saying, but bad neighborhood, 23-year-old black dudes who are homophobic just by pure, like, circumstance of where they're, you know, they're not exposed to this stuff very much. And even the white guys, the big country linemen. Sure, yeah, yeah, then you got that, too. That's what's mostly around you, so to come out of that, yeah, exactly. Oh, There's like, that's like, the NFL's I'm probably... I'm not going to have some sissy nanny watching me my, yeah. change my pants. My pants are super tight, and I don't want some guy <laughs> jacking off thinking about me in my stance. I can see him popping up in his... <laughs> but I love that they make, like, that's always the argument about uh, uh, gays coming out, is that they're going to be, like, these sexually aggressive guys, and most of the time they're like, we don't care. Well, the one, the rumor that was the longest... Was I like, mean, I'll tell you, Gronkowski does have a major pace on I mean, though. sure, before Hernandez slaughtered all those people, <laughs> I was looking at him like, honey, it is third and long. Look... Does Aaron Rodgers have a bod to die for? Yeah. Yeah. So what? I'm not going to act on it. Sometimes when I'm in a dog pile, I was like, I wish these pants were gone. It's nothing I can't just handle on my dildo bike ride back to the hotel. Uh, On my huffy as I take it down the hills behind my house. But that was a big rumor a long time was that Aaron Rodgers is gay. And that his, he had, I don't don't know if you remember this, but there was um, a rumor that someone was going to out him because his like assistant, his friend assistant, people were like, yeah, that's his boyfriend that he's known since college and he's just like had beards well, you know, it's for weird. girlfriends once you once the shit dies down of like the bravery of stuff of coming out it is funny how they, a lot of times these people will disappear where the fuck's frank ocean where's michael sam frank ocean just put out a new album did he yeah he put out like two new albums actually i think who's talking about them anybody i'm on world star hip-hop every day name never comes up well i think michael sam just didn't make the team but i think he start. you know like he was draft. I don't know. Some people believe that him saying he was gay got him to the practice squad. Oh, because he wasn't actually that good. Well, I mean, but then he was all fucking uh, SEC or Big Twelve play- defensive player of the year. Yeah. So he was good. I mean, he was amazing at Missouri. He uh, led the, the league Rams, in sacks. Right? The Rams. Yeah. He was, the Rams drafted him, and then he he went to the Cowboys and was on their practice squad. But practice for what? Yeah. <laughs> but practice. We're talking. He does a sassy gay one. Practice. We're talking about practice. Talking about practice. Do you know what I could be doing during practice? Get out of here, you stupid bitch! First of all, I'm supposed to get my toes done today. Fierce. Work it, <laughs> girl. Yes. I was. I was out there wailing on that sled today. <laughs> yeah. But I. Uh, I think it would help. I think it would help if a superstar came out. It was like I'm gay, and if Aaron Rodgers is gay, I think it would help a lot of other gay players come out. You heard it here first. LeBron James is gay. Whoa. No one said that. Though. Breaking bonfire news. <laughs> is LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, and the entire Miami Heat team gay? We'll find out after this. They're not. <laughs> but we still want to get a dildo bike and give it away. Somehow. What if I, what, Are what, dildo what, what, bites killing you? <laughs> the erotic story at 11. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Are dildo bikes bad for you? Do rocking chair dildos go the wrong way in your pussy? (laughs) Details at 11.
Um, but to have a press conference like Piazza to say that you're not gay has got to be one of the most... Guys, it's so even ridiculous to even think that. First off, who dressed the stage? <laughs> Do you have pictures of him during the press conference? Because he had... It's Lewis. hard to find a video, but you may be able to find a photo. So if you're saying Yankees started this about this Piazza... Is, if you can't find the press conference, that never happened then. It happened. This has to be made up. It happened. Well, also, if you're saying that Yankees fans started the whole Mike Piazza thing, then it, it leaves me to believe that logic. That logical kind of theory is like um, Bears fans started the Aaron Rodgers one. That could be. What year did Piazza start playing? Oh, like 94? For the Mets in 98. Yeah, but he, he, was, he was drafted by the Dodgers, Dodgers in 93, 90, 94? Yeah, yep. He was Tommy Lasorda's nephew. Oh. That's a fun fact. Gee, he, or he, was he is, Tommy Lasorda like Lou Pearlman? And Lou Piazza was one of his boys? Dude, he was so... Story at 11. <laughs> he was so handsome, but Jesus, he aged terrible. Am I crazy? His, his hairline's going back, but I don't think he, he looks... He still kind of has a baby face, no? I don't know, man. Lou, defender boy. He was so good looking He was point. not gay. Who cares well, if he was? I hope he was. Yeah, big deal. He's gay, Lou. So what? He loves, he loves heavy metal, so he, therefore there's two reasons he can't be gay. So gay. And uh, look, that handlebar mustache. Lou, you're in love with a gay guy. What's the big deal? He's always been a bit of a dandy, but he's not gay. Oh, he looks Lou! Like What's the big deal? Your sports hero, the icon of your life, happens to be a guy who loves Pud. Yeah, he also he looks like the son of a drug cartel leader. <laughs> like he wouldn't. My be... father would be very happy to see that you all were here. The cocaina, he's real. <laughs> you and your family will not die. He's yeah, very, he's very he's religious done. too. I think that's done. why he can't be. Ah, that's what it always is. It's the religious folk that can never come out and be Look gay. This I met this I girl. want this picture tweeted out because he's showing you the, the, the biggest dick he's ever taken. This big. <laughs> By the way, he was a Dominican. <laughs> he is still in the league. Um, oh, I've had Daryl's strawberries in my mouth. <laughs> There's no one that I feel worse for than closeted gay men who are super religious. Because then it's like... Oh, really? You know, Even like Down syndrome quadriplegics? Uh, well, no. Those people are just punished by God. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no one I feel worse for than someone that buys a lemon car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no one? No one. And you're like, no, that's my thing. And then you just have to stick to it. Guys, My favorite to... thing about Louis J. Gomez is just definitive. He's so big on like declarative, definitive statements. Yeah. Dude, the worst thing that could... I had the worst day yesterday. He goes, I had a, <laughs> I had a hangnail and I stubbed my toe. He goes... Well, oh. Someone got murdered yesterday. Oh, there, were four, there were 48 Syrian refugees who were all <laughs> murdered at a border in a river. Yeah, they had a bad day, too. Um, no, but I feel bad for the closeted gay men that can't come out because of religion. Because they they have to know. I met this girl. I did a one-nighter one time. And the promoter's sister, was her younger sister, was probably the hottest girl I've ever met in my life. And she's like, we're going to go out to dinner with her and her husband. And I was like, oh, cool, whatever. She's married. Of course she's married. She's the hottest girl and she lives in this podunk town. We go out, and her husband's like, there she is. And I came up, and I was like, hi, how are you doing? It's nice to meet you. And I was like, no. no. Oh, yeah. No. And he goes, I am from Georgia. I'm and surprised. my family is crazy religious. And I'm like, surprised that she was able to walk today, because I plowed her so hard. <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> we got to bring Graham from the stand on to do gay guys talking about pussy <laughs> as a new segment. Oh, yeah. They just talk about, with, I want him to read erotic penthouse letters, <laughs> straight yeah. penthouse. Crisley, he is the best. It's, so he's gay. No. I mean, yeah. No, he, <laughs> but he has a family. He, he made all those kids. Yeah. Dick to yeah. puss. Yeah. Well, no, so they do like the, how they how they do like the fake thing for how they like, milk horses. <laughs> yeah. Like they put his dick into a fake asshole, and then like last second yeah. they just jam it in a pussy. And they go go go! You <laughs> oh, oh girl, oh, oh girl. child, oh girl, oh bring, child. Bring him up. Bring a clip up so we can hear how he talks because I think he talks exactly what I. Uh, oh yeah, because no, I've seen he's the impression of gay dude. Because I've seen the flamboyant um, gay guy Absolutely. before. I watch wrestling, which isn't gay. No. It is. It's a little gay. It's so gay. It's not so gay. It's a little gay. Child girl, honey bitch. This is him? What? All soda. He got, but he calls his son mm -hmm. bitch. Grayson, what are you doing, bitch? You're not drinking that soda. Sorry. You're not drinking. You gotta watch who you're talking to. What? Oh, my boy is such a little bitch. 
bitch. Oh, you sassy little shit. Look, they have titty cakes on the show. It's like everything's like... Oh my God, you look like a young version of Pamela Anderson. Well, that's what I'm striving to be. You can take that off because that's not going to happen. It's just me. Wait, so then he's like, he's like super gay complimentary, but then also like a protective father. Yeah. Honey, you look dazzling. I just want to eat you up, but bitch, you are not going to wear that. Not out in this house. He looks like if somebody drew Nick Swardson with pastels. <laughs> <laughs> like a light, like a light watercoloring of, of Nick Swardson. Yeah, that's what it looks like. No. There's only one bull out there screwing all them other ones. That's exactly right. That you know what's so funny? Chance. The reason is they just show his kids like don't respect him at all. They don't because he's gay. What That's what it at is. Four o'clock in the morning. They really are like. He goes, "Don't drink you that soda." Mistake? Like, what are you gonna do about it, I'm faggot? Like, like, don't uh, you dare! I'm your father. I, I am your father. He goes, "Well, that's oh, well, then I shouldn't be here." <laughs> you listen here, Mister Sister. <laughs> you get in that room and thumb your butthole for one half hour. <laughs> I mean, it really is. What is it? His wife has to know. Yeah, what's so funny about a show like this is like, we, I, like he has to know. But I want to get a. But they gave him a show because he's a gay guy raising a family. You think like, or does he think, or does he just go? It's like he's like, no, I love pussy, and I'm just so fabulous. They want me on television. But that's what I'm wondering is if he's under the same kind of thing of like he doesn't, he's not in on it the way like Amber Rose is in it on like her being a late night host. Yeah, I think he is. Uh, no, he might, he's not. I think he's not. In t I think he's not in on it. He's like, they just love me. I'm yes. just crazy. He goes, I am, and he's like, when he's 80 years old, he's gonna be. Like, I am pulling this off for 60 plus years. I, I have, have walked through life tricking everybody. Yeah, that, when he's 90, before on his deathbed, he goes, surprise everybody. I've been riding a dildo back well, <laughs> on your back for the last several years. Why do you think I've stayed in such incredible shape? It's the mix of my closet homosexuality and my love of bicycles. <laughs> Uh, let's take one more break, and then we'll come back, and we're going to run in the list of rumored gay athletes. Done. Let's do it. It's the bonfire. Central Radio. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. My dildo bike. Dildo bike. It's so fast when it rides up my ass. <laughs> it's 60 RPMs. That's hard fuck action. <laughs> That's, hard fuck. That's hardcore fuck action to the max. Hit a hill, just lay back. Turns out I'm a squirter. And squeal with glass. <laughs> Squeaks Brakes need a tweak. Oh, Gonna shit. slam my ass into the seat. Like I'm sitting down after an 18-hour shift. Mud and guts. The Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio Series XM95. Mud and guts. This is our commercial for our new bikes we're making, our new line of dildo bikes. Our new line of dildo bikes. That's Big Jerks, and I'm Dan Soder. Hey! We've been playing Bruce Springsteen all day and talking about dildo bikes. So, there you go. And now... The top ten athletes that are rumored to be gay. We were talking about, uh, I mean, we've been all over the place, but one of the lists that we found were the top ten. Uh, but there's like guys on, I went through the list, there's guys here I don't really know, so we'll just skip them and talk about the other ones. Why? I want to talk about the ones we don't know. They're just dudes. But you probably fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't go after the famous ones. Go after the ones that are attainable. You can't fuck Aaron Rodgers. But you can tell He's dating fuck. Olivia Munn, so if she is a beard, good for him. She's hot. She's crazy hot. Crazy hot. I feel like she has muff. Not sure why. Is she naked? Was she fully naked before in something? I don't think so. You just get the sense that there is? sense there's muff on her. I mean, you're the muff master. <laughs> muff, muff master. Uh, yeah. Dude, that, get, that, web, that website, <laughs> guessourmuff.com, I was so good at that. Game. Wait, that's really a thing? Oh, yeah. Wait, that you can guess a muff? It's a candid picture of a girl. Yeah. Guess her muff. Gives you different... There's natural... Uh, natural, there's trimmed, there's whatever, and then uh, and you make your guess, and then it goes, tells you if you were right or wrong, and uh, yeah. Oh, they, they shut it down. Uh, there's no, there's other ones. I promise you. There's, there's do, do guessermuff.net or 
do guess her no, 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 dot, no, dot, dot blogspot.com or dot edu do dot edu <laughs> you know do, do, do gov <laughs> do, do guess her muff dot gov there's uh, always a, a site we can find it on another show oh, but, uh, but guess her muff is so and you guess and it shows you real picture of a real girl a real girl of a yeah but I'm saying it's not like porn stars you know what yeah. I mean? it's like just chicks but they, just, like, they submit no, I it, assume this is fueled by the anger of ex-boyfriends. Oh, if I had to guess, you don't think this it's probably is... why it's constantly being removed and then <laughs> put back up. Because they're like, um, I didn't say that was cool, and Jay's like, I have a talent. I just do. I'm good at calling it. If, if me you, and Dave Smith, you just sit and just click and cl- and just keep going. Through it'd be it. funny. You should be um, a carnival barker. Like, guess well, your muffin. Car- you want to think? Oh yeah. my god, why has it not been done yet? Yeah, how have you not done that? Guess. Let, watch the man guess your muff. If you're wrong, you get a. We should do that for small prizes at the live show. Yeah, and I'll do a dance Jay sort of kiss and booth. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do. A, I'll do a side dance smooch booth. <laughs> smooch booth. Yeah, just kiss. By the way, vanilla Dan, just cheek kisses. Oh, it's so great. A this is a great idea. A cheek kissing, dance kissing booth, and I kiss your muff. It's like the most like. Yeah, just run vanilla. you through the fucking gauntlet of terrible things. Yeah, well, it's just, it's just, and it's also vanilla and you. No, oh, it's great. It's chocolate and vanilla. You're like, hey, well, and I'm like, she... full beef on this slob. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll have to see how the campers respond to that, but I, I'm down to do that. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm not gonna call anybody a slob. That was just for humor's sake. <laughs> no one's gonna say yes if they think there's a chance I'm gonna call him a slob. What's up with your beefcake? Oh, I bet this I bet this meaty puss bitch over here's <laughs> yeah. got a real curtain on it. Oh god, you wanna just give me a handful of it and I can feel around? She's got an AIDS quilt of fur. So is this the website? Yeah, that's Olivia Munn. Oh, that's Olivia Munn. Oh, wait, go up. No muff, huh? Go up more. I mean what? Is that jizz on her chest? I don't know. Wait, sixteen photos. I didn't see sixteen. Keep going down. Mm-hmm. It was nice. That's good. It's good. You're like a doctor. I like you, how call mm-hmm. She's so hot. You're a little freckly in the face. Shut honestly. up. I love that. <laughs> but uh, I actually I, I want to fight I you for saying her, that. I, I want to kiss all her little freckles. She's a little freckly. <laughs> like, um, I feel like Christine little. sort of looks like her. They have a similar face. Sure. Ooh. Look at that. All right. Sorry, Christine. I was no, saying you were beautiful. That picture sorry. looks like Christine a lot. The bottom one. What, the one where they're fucking tits and puss hanging no, out? No, it's a face. How the fuck do you know? Oh, it's Christine, I was trying did you work. run through this whole business before you met me? <laughs> <laughs> Perfecto. All right, let's, oh, look wow. at some, let's look at some gay athletes. Oh, man, that ass is pretty good. She's so hot. She is hot. So if he's gay, it's, it's, just, a, it's just a very sad thing. Top ten gay athletes. No, listen, maybe he fucks her, and then he rides around town on his fucking dildo bike. I gotta go for a ride. <laughs> I just gotta think. Yeah, Aaron. Aaron, are you, are you taking your dildo bike again? And that's why I think that Aaron Rodgers is a gay quarterback. Because the Chicago Bears can't beat him, and he's got a hat girlfriend. <laughs> oh, speaking of goofy Midwest accents, you do you did see that... Uh, Stephen Avery's gonna be on Dr. Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil, yeah, and that's gonna be... A world of when players. is that? I don't know. It might even be today for all I know. Hey, can you look that up, stat? Because if that's on, if Dr. Phil is talking to a retarded man who might have murdered a woman, <laughs> have you met Amber Rose? I'm going to let you alone in a room with her. It could be like a damn Tasmanian devil left alone with one of them Scooby sandwiches. Now, you can't kill her, but you can kill that pussy if oh, you know what I mean. Beat it up, Stephen, like the <laughs> tales that the police department made up of you. I want you to beat it up. Um, let's look at these athletes real quick. Number 10, 10, Josh Selby. Josh Selby. Lakers? <laughs> this is Christ, Lou. Is he a Laker? He is a Laker. Carl Lewis, number nine. Is he rumored to be gay? Yeah, bring up that song. Yeah, that kind of like. Where's the Carl Lewis song? Carl Lewis had a musical career. Tough to be a fairy. Is this him? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> if it was, I did. <laughs> 600, 700, and 600 minutes. I love it. Love Rent. Love it. So does Christine. It's great. Yeah, enjoy your AIDS, everyone. Whoa! So Carl Lewis is rumored to be gay. He generally considered one of the greatest pro athletes of all time. Lewis has been uh, subject in, to rumors about his sexuality for over 30 years. That's a lot of closeted boofers. Wow! Boofers. He's always denied the rumor. 
and it hasn't proven to be true. Oh wow! An Ovi, Ovi Magelli. It's thought that he lost. Oh, say oh this is him. Oh yeah, we sure. See, and the rockets. Red flag. Oh. Uh oh. I'll make up for it now. That's not gay. For the land of the free. Oh. Wow, I've never seen oh, that before. God, that's tough to watch. Him doing the national anthem. I'll make up for it. Oh, he gave him a divorce dad line in the middle of the You know, I know we're, we're going to go back through time, but I'd like to see a subject that I've never... I want to watch a bunch of... Uh, listen to a bunch of, like, national anthem fails. I bet that's great. How about we blow everyone's mind and we start Monday's episode with that? That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. It's a little bit of a time go warp. Back in time. And then you know what we can do on the time. replays? We'll start with this one on Friday, and it'll go into Monday. And then it'll all make sense. <sighs> yeah, that's right, motherfuckers. Yeah, we're that, bending time. I think National Anthem Fails would be great. Yeah, no, we're absolutely going to do that. And that's how we're going to start the show. That way, if you're listening to this and it's Friday morning, you are going to go back in time. You should also come see me in P- Poughkeepsie Saturday night. I'll be at Laugh It Up Poughkeepsie. Oh, buddy, I'm just Tickets here. at DanSoder.com. And Thursday, obviously, if you were there last night, I was at the Rogue. Or tomorrow night. This comes out on Wednesday. It's Thursday night. Rogue Island. Rogue Island Comedy Festival. Providence, Rhode be Island. Fun. I'm looking forward to it. Two it's shows really with Tim fun. Dillon. With yeah. Tim Dillon and myself. I, I did a show at uh, Oddball with uh, Sam J, who's going to be there also. Oh, yeah. I fucking love Sam J. She's great. Sweetheart. Yeah. So, she got toasted. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. The I boys running around just taking food off people's plates. Yeah. I miss those days when I used to get like that. Just being, I mean, like, she was pretty hilarious, but she's a sweetheart. She's yeah. great. And uh, so let's see more athletes here. Carlos Ovi, Miguelie, Mukili. Uh, Mukili. Oh, um, man. He's definitely a top if he is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Somebody's gonna... Eddie Curry, number seven. That's a large man to be really? fucking on the side. Well, Look he at failed to live up to his hype and potential. However, he loves it in the shitter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, allegations he is gay. His former chauffeur filed a lawsuit stating that Curry was sexually suggestive and inappropriate around towards him. Hey, hey, Peter, take a look at this. <laughs> Sir, I can't look back. I'm actually driving right now. Just waving, slapping dick on the partition. Mr. Curry, if that is your giant cock slapping the partition, please stop. I have to get you home. It's team rules. Sir, can you please? Mr. Curry, please Sir. stop slapping your dick against Mr. the back of my seat. I have a family. I'm flattered, but please. Please, sir. Number six, Carrie Rhodes. Don't know who that is. Uh, oh, he looks number. sweet, though. Looks cute. He looks very sweet. Let's that pencil thin stash. Oh, oh, we like should that? also pick out which ones we would do. Okay. If uh, we if we were gay. Start at the top again. Start at the top. We'll do this right now. Yeah, we can get we can work through it. We just got to number six. Uh Josh Selby. Josh Selby. No. No, I don't feel it. I don't Not feel my it. thing. Too plain looking. Carl, Carl Lewis. Lewis for the story, sure. It's okay. Carl Lewis. Uh I'm gonna say yes to Ovi. Yeah, Ovi Miguelie I would do I bet he looks good in a white suit. I bet he just looks good coming out of the shower with a towel, and I'm like, lover. Yeah. I'm like, lover, can you grab my bowl and my weed? Yeah, he's just he's just shiny. He glistens. Yeah, I bet he's got a lot of cool brands on his arm. Yeah. A lot right, of linebackers yes. It's have unanimous. It. We both fuck Ovi Miguelli. Eddie Curry, I'm going to say yes just because I'm a, I'm a dirty little girl. See, uh, no, Eddie Curry is <laughs> not my thing. He's, uh, I, I'm going to call a racist for this. Too ethnic looking. Okay. And you know what I'm going to say that? I'm going to say I'm for it. Now, Kerry Rhodes. Yeah. Sweet. Get out of the Sweet way, chocolate. Jay. He's Absolutely. mine first. No way. I introduced him to my mom. Oh, yeah? Yeah. My, I bought him a dildo bike for his birthday. What? And I remember his birthday. I didn't even be reminded by Facebook. That's all right. We started <laughs> dating, and I haven't slept in my house since. <laughs> so pretty much it was. Manti Teo? Man, Manti Teo, because, you know, the, 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 the fake girlfriend. There was a lot of shit. Um, Manti Teo. I'm going to say no. He was a pretty good-looking guy from what I remember. I'm not dumb as balls. He's nope. dumb, so I can probably convince him to do a lot of weird shit. Okay, so yes to Manti Teo for you, oh, yeah. no to Manti Teo. Me, me and this guy are doing butt beads first day. Uh, yeah, ass to ass, fucking uh, rec room for a dream style. Number four. Going too fast. Um, we have Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan. Yes. Um, I'd love to meet his parents in the in the Virgin Islands. Oh, yeah. He's a good swimmer. That's right. 
Tim Duncan. Oh, yeah. He's just completely aerodynamic. And he's all water. smooth, yeah. probably. But he still shaves the yeah. bond. Yeah. I fucked Tim Duncan. Sure. So we're both yes on Tim Duncan. Sure. Okay. Number three, Mike Piazza. A young Mike Piazza, I'm in. A young Mike Piazza? No, I'll now. fight you for him. Now. Now, Mike Piazza? Not a chance. Not a chance? Not a chance. Just because his hair is receding? It's I, more than that, Lou. And Lou, why are you so upset that I wouldn't fuck Mike Piazza? Because I might. You yeah. would. So, Lou, that's a yes for gay Lou. Okay. Gay Lou is Lou, yes. Lou, if Mike Piazza showed up at your house and goes, he goes, look what I got a ticket for. It's Pearl Jam, front row. And then you go, that, I'm so jealous. And then he just fans it out and you see, or did I have two tickets? Or he goes, would you suck him off in the limo ride to Pearl Jam? I'd negotiate. I don't know. I don't yeah, the answer know. is what yes. If, what if he did that, 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 that? All that yeah. faulty shit he just did was yeah. yes. Yeah, that's a long way of saying yes. Troy Boy Aikman? No way. I'd hate fuck him, but yeah. I'd try to kill him. That's what I'm saying. After the Niners lost to the Cowboys this week, I would, he was I would, com commentating on it. I'll tell you this. Yeah. I'd pound. Welcome to Pound Town, Aikman. I would, uh, I'm going to give you a six, six concussion due to dick. <laughs> I, I'm going to fuck you until you can. I would try to asphyxiate him until he died. <laughs> I would try to give him CTE more. i just bang his head against the headboard. Oh, I'd just... Just hate Troy Aikman. Yeah, me too. He, he was just the really... era of just yep. fucking hating the Cowboys. And, and he was and, the one. And and a, you guys can go back to that time in sports when sports was one of the only three things in your life. It was like your parents, your friends, and sports. Yeah. And Troy Aikman like, was ruining every January. We'd get ruined by Troy Aikman. Him, After uh, Christmas, he'd beat the Niners in the playoffs. And when he does, him. him and Chris Collins, whenever they, they do those two do an Eagles it's game, Joe I, Buck. I fucking hate it. Joe Buck. Howdy doody. No, I'm saying either Almost. one of those two guys oh. doing a game. <laughs> um, number then, course, one. Number one, Aaron Rodgers. I'll tell you this. I'll, I'll become the third wheel in that whole relationship. I hear you. And I'm just going to throw this out there, and I'm sorry. I think he's a very talented quarterback. I'm not gay at all, but I can just tell looking at this guy, he's not my thing. He's not your thing? It's the only thing I have against him. I don't care about his playing. Can I tell you this? He's when just, if I'm thinking about fucking a guy, can I tell Aaron Rodgers is not my thing. I'm not thinking about fucking Aaron Rodgers. I took a look at his face, thinking about moving into a cabin, maybe in Vermont. Just always being cozy. Riding dildo bikes down on a dirt oh, trail. Dirt trails. Just uh, uh, holding hands. As we, uh, uh, Aaron, grab my hand. Oh, we're making our own syrup. Like just, just fucking trees out of sap. It's just fucking holes in the trees to get the sap. I love it. Oh, he teach me how to throw a tight spiral. Tell me about those glory days of being a packer. Oh, why would someone put this up? We're le We're getting we're off the air right now. Why did you bring this up? I'll show you so you know it's uh, there. I don't. What, 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 <laughs> we know I, it's I, there. I, can't, I didn't know this was there. We're closing out the show right now. God damn it! So, did you throw a Corey Feldman orgy on us at the end of the show? Just, mm -hmm. I honest to God, Lou. If you want to hit her, you can hit her. You're right next to her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Next week. Hey, how about others? Is this, is this a good relationship stride for me and Christine? Uh, as I looked at it and th thought about it, even in regards to what you've said historically in the past, you're right, that dildo chair is going the wrong way. Hey, Aww. guys. Wow. We really made a breakthrough. That's really yeah. great, dude. How do you feel? I feel good. Christine, how do you feel? I feel great. You know what? I feel like we should get a proper dildo chair for this. Let's get a proper dildo chair, one that okay. bends, that bangs you downwards. Big Joe Jokerson's towards off. your belly button. You're off. The uh, Oddball tour is over, so you can catch Big J this weekend in New York. BigJComedy.com. Follow him at Big J Okerson on Twitter, mm. and then uh, download a special live at Webster Hall uh, on iTunes and other awesome platforms. Of course, Danny's special still available, and you're going to catch him at the Rogue. Uh, Rogue Island Comedy Festival. Yeah. Uh, for all of his dates, you can go to dancehotter.com. Yeah, if you're in the Poughkeepsie area, I'll be in Poughkeepsie for two shows Saturday night. It'll be fun at Laugh It Up and then uh, North Kakalaka. I'm coming to both. Uh, I'm doing a one nighter in Raleigh and then two nights at Dead Crow in Wilmington. Looking forward to Ooh, both. God. Uh, I got oh. some fun. I actually have uh, the end of this month, I have Virginia Beach Funny yes. Bone coming up. And uh, is it a funny bone? Virginia Beach funny bone, yeah. yeah. Virginia Beach funny bone, and uh, also the last weekend of this month, now, uh, Stress Factory. Fuck nice yeah! I haven't been there in a long time, Stress Factory. In so. Jersey, so make sure you go to BigJComedy.com. And again, follow us at The Bonfire, SXM, on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. And uh, we'll see you next week. Peace! Peace.
Go ride your dildo bikes. <laughs> 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 <laughs>